Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and I... This is going to be a Salty Witch episode, but I don't know if it's more salty story time or just being a Salty Witch, because I have a story to tell you, and there's a little bit of salt to it, and there's a lot of bit of salt to it, and there's a lot of salt to it. Okay, I have an issue with companies or um, specialty businesses that take advantage of those who do not understand the services. Allow me to explain a bit further. I'm talking about like plumbers who might take advantage of people who are having a problem with their um, hot water heaters because they don't know what's wrong. I remember watching a special even where they purposely did a one little leak on it and brought in a bunch of like air and cooling and plumbers in to try to fix this thing and a lot of them tried to take advantage of them especially if they were women but the one i'm actually talking about today the one that really gets my gears is mechanics i can never trust a mechanic ever i hate mechanics they're always trying to take advantage of you for a while we had a car guy he wasn't like part of a garage but he knew what the f he was doing with cars and he was pretty good. We've known him for years, and he has always helped us out in, like, pinch or whatever. Yeah, and he didn't, like, overcharge for anything, you know. He didn't, like, mark up part prices, and um, his labor was reasonable, especially for somebody who was, like, struggling, you know, paycheck to paycheck, which there were a time that that kind of was the case. Anyways, so we trusted this guy. Let's, let's jump to this year. So this year, my husbando had an issue with his car. Um, I think he needed, I don't, okay, look, I don't really know cars, but it was something to do with the, the, the knuckle, like the knuckle of the car, which is part, the part the wheels mounted on. Uh, there's a little thing, I think it was cracked, it needed to be replaced, not the whole thing, but just a piece inside. Look, he'll know better than I, but that's beside the point. So it's just this little piece. The the part needed to come off, that piece needed to pop out, new piece needed to go in, and then it re-gets assembled. It's involved. It requires your car to be, like, you know, on cinder blocks for a little bit. Uh, so we understood when he's like, yeah, it's going to cost X amount of dollars. And the part costs X amount of dollars, which is fine. We, you know, we paid it. And I'm thinking, like... What did he charge? Like six hundred dollars for this, which again isn't too bad compared, uh, considering all the work he had to do. Um, and he even came to our house because usually we drop it off at his place. But he came to our house, um, brought his family for some reason, and they kind of chilled in the yard. But I digress. Uh, so he struggled really bad trying to get that part out. Like he could not at all. He ended up breaking one of the. I think it was. I think it's called the knuckle. I think that's what they called it. It was like. Of, of the car, the whole piece that the, the wheel went on, trying to get that center piece out. He just, he snapped it almost in half. I mean, you think that if you're struggling this bad, maybe you don't know what the f you're doing. Maybe, because he says, oh, it should be easy. Just give a little oof and it should pop right out. But it didn't work. Inside the knuckle is like this little bearing. But what the guy didn't know is that there was a locking ring in there. Um... So he ended up breaking one of the knuckles, so he couldn't finish the job. So my husband's car's left up on this lift, and he's like, well, it's going to cost X amount to go replace this knuckle. And of course, understandably, my husband and I were pretty upset. We're like, well, you broke the part. And he goes, yeah, well, you need to pay for it. And I'm like, well, we need to get it done. So instead of arguing with him, fine, here it is. Here's the money. Go, you know, go get it. So he kind of ghosted us for a while. My husband's car was sitting on cinder blocks in our yard in our driveway for over a month and we had so much trouble trying to get a hold of him to the point where we ended up ordering a new uh knuckle for the car and then my husband went and he had to go and try to um take out the bearing itself from the inside of the knuckle and i'm gonna use these words but um he watched a youtube video and it showed him like he pulled out the ring and the thing just popped right out and uh, well, that was it. And then he put the new one in and he reassembled, like, the driver's side. He needed both driver and passenger side front with the car done. 
And and so he was working on the second one, and the guy finally comes back because he left his tools, and he's like, yeah, I've come back for my tools. And my husband's like, look how f***ing easy this was. Like, I was mentioning before that, like, this might be an issue, like, the case. Uh, I was trying to, like, you know, have you look it up. And my husband is not an intimidating guy, like, okay, so... The guy then starts to say that it was my husband's fault that the knuckle broke, that he was intimidating him and, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, how? Because he was standing in his own yard while you were working on this stuff? You had, like, six other people watching you while you were doing this. And all my husband was doing every time I looked outside was sitting on his phone in a lawn chair. Like, there wasn't anything he was doing in particular. Yeah, it's just, it's one of those things that was, like, shady as shit. And so we were like, hey, can you refund, like, some of the stuff? Because you didn't do the work on one of them. Uh, my husband had to reassemble the whole thing. And my husband, not knowing what the f*** he's doing, you know, he did the best he could. But he had to reassemble it himself. So it's at least a quarter of the work right there. Not to mention, he had to learn himself how to take this bearing out of this knuckle which the guy himself didn't even know how to do and then he had to show him the video of how easy it was to actually do while doing it on that on the you know the other one then he asked for a refund on the parts that he gave him money for um and the guy's like i can't i don't i don't have the money i spent it so he didn't even buy the parts he just spent it on something else and i get when people are hard up for money like i get it i get it when you have bills that just magically show up and you don't know what to do you're like god damn what do i do now but for the love of all that is holy what the f are you doing dude and so we we talked to him and the idea was maybe down the line you could do some work for us right just do a little work you know the service and we'll just call it even Maybe a, a month or two later, like, my car needed to go in for an inspection, right? And it needed a new, uh, well, needed a replaced serpentine belt because it's kind of starting to get old. And there's um, a crack uh, by the, on the muffler pipe that needed to be welded. So uh, we called him up and we're like, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll pay for the parts. We just need you to... Um, we just need you to take care of, like, the, the the service, like, doing this, whatever. And we'll call it even. Because last time, when all was said and done, ha because of buying all the replacement parts, including the part that he broke, and then the replacement parts that he never bought, um, we ended up paying him almost $1,000 for him to remove the tires and then help put the tire on the passenger side back on. That's pretty much all he did. Uh, so we paid a lot of money for that. Uh, we paid for the parts as well. So I, I suppose the, the inner bearing also comes out of that. But that wasn't all that expensive. I think it was like $60 maybe. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I know it wasn't a terribly lot. So we paid a lot of money towards this guy. And for the most part, we've always trusted him. I kind of stopped trusting him after that, mostly because he spent four weeks, like, ghosting us. And then when we tried to get him, get in contact with him to, like, do so this part work for my car, he started ghosting us again. He would stop answering our calls. He wouldn't answer the messages. I think finally he caved in. It's September, and he finally replied back and said, okay, fine. Um... So he's like, yeah, I'll agree to do it, and this is how much the parts are going to be. So, you know, we paid for the parts, and um, we go to bring our car there. Mind you, we knew him back when we lived in another state, so we had to drive two states to get there. And it's a five-hour drive there and back. So it's not one that I want to do too often, right? So I go, and I, we drop it off. Um... And as we're dropping off, we're like, yep, yeah, it's here. He goes, yeah, also leave uh, an extra 120 in the car. And it's like, for what? And he goes, well, that's how much it's going to cost me to do this. And it's like, but that's not what we agreed. We agreed because you owed us all this money from before. And so he was, like, complaining that, you know, well, I mean, that's not really fair. And it costs, like, this much. He goes, my husband's like, yeah, but you would owe us, like, this much. You, that's... Almost half of that would be for the parts that you never bought and you took the money for. Shady, shady. Motherfucker. But we understand, you know, if he's 
having trouble with money, so we left, uh, like, 40 or something, and, you know, we left, and we came back when he said it was done, which was the next day, which another five-hour drive. And we're like, okay, like, we, we didn't see him, like, he kind of, like, dropped the car off into a place, I was like, yeah, just pick it up and go, and I was like, okay, and so we did, and I don't know what the f*** happened, but I went to go get this car inspected again. And they didn't do any of the work. He did not change out that belt. And apparently instead of welding the part shut, he used some sort of compound or a paste. Which wasn't even in the right spot, so it was still leaking. And uh, apparently even that's just a very temporary and an extremely cheap fix. Uh, so when I took it back for the inspection, they're like, yeah, no, this is, no. Also, there's like new problems new new problems and I'm like are, are you are you kidding me and in fact even I noticed something when I came back from the place that my passenger seat light came on I had no passengers there was nothing on that seat I had my cell phone on that seat that doesn't need a seatbelt I don't know what the f this guy did so we try calling him he's still fucking avoiding our goddamn calls what the f man what the f that's all I really have to say about all this is what the f um, we did try calling him up. He goes to the call. He accidentally butt-dialed us back. As soon as he realized we were on the other end, he hung up the phone. Some shady shit's going down. I don't like it. I'm pretty pissed about all this. And to make matters worse, when I go back in to get the inspection done, they tell me how much it costs. Like, the first time, they're like, oh yeah. It's gonna cost, like, $80 for this belt. For the serpentine belt. And I'm like... That's a lot, but okay, but let me, I got the car guy, you can do it. And then they come back in and they're like, yeah, serpentine, serpentine belt still wasn't fixed, needs to be replaced. It's $165. That's over twice the amount. Is it because I'm female? Is it because I'm tits? Why does it cost twice as much? And then like the welding that needs to be done was, they quoted me $540 and now they're quoting me $665. Why is it suddenly more? And this isn't labor, because labor is a completely different cost. Labor is its own thing. So it went from being like a um, $600 issue to now a $1,200 issue with this this car com um, place that did the inspection. And I'm just like, the f*** is going on? Like, wh why? Is it because I'm a female? Why is it suddenly more to do the same work? Why? 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 I don't get it. Why? Why? I hate mechanics. They're like the f***ing worst. They're always f***ing trying to, to, to scam people out of shit, which is why I was so happy that there was finally one that I could trust and he ended up being a f***ing loser asshole. And yeah, I'm gonna say that. Like, look, uh, what he did was just scummy and I, I have no sympathy for him or his problems. Like, we would have if he talk to us like we would have worked through this shit because my husband and I were decent people okay if he was having money problems if he needed help you know like he could have talked to us if he needed like more time on something or whatever then fine like we would have worked something out but god damn this bullshit I'm just mm, 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 mm. look I'm I'm a salty witch I'm a salty witch I'm a salty witch with like a $1,200 bill on my hand that is now twice the price of what it was uh, back in June. And now my husband's like, oh, I don't trust this place. Let's go get it inspected somewhere else. But inspections in the state cost like $40. And I'm tired of spending goddamn money. <laughs> Why do people think I'm made out of money? I'm just a fucking lowly VTuber. I don't even make minimum wage doing this shit. Regardless, I'm done. Done! I'm done! I'm so salty, but a fork in me. I'm done! <sighs> also, leave a comment about bullshit that you've had to deal with. Have you ever had to deal with a bullshit mechanic? Because this shit's fucking bullshit. Yeah. I have to actually do that f subathon finally in order to afford the fucking <laughs> I'm Argama Witch, and I'm gonna go get a pumpkin spice coffee. I'll see you later. <gasps> Bye!